What is up my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Mod Bikes Easy with Sidecar. And today we're gonna to be doing the first ride in review. The Mod Easy with Sidecar retails for $41.90, but if you use code SHREDDY, you can get $100 off your order. And without Sidecar, it's $32.90. The Mod Easy has a high performance 6061 aluminum frame, Mozo forks with 100 millimeters of travel with preload and lockout, Tektro hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors with dual piston calipers. It is a hard tail, so no rear shock, but we do have suspension seat posts. The rims are a 24 by 60 millimeter. The tires are a Kenda Flame 24 by 3. The shifter is a Sunrace M4 7 speed trigger shifter. The derailleur is a Shimano Altus 7 speed. The crank is a 52 tooth with double sided aluminum bash guards. The saddle is a faux leather cell Royal Drifter. The seat post is an EXA form 525 suspension seat post with 40 millimeters of travel. The handlebars are aluminum alloy low rise. We also have front and rear aluminum fenders. And back here we have a rack. It's a multi-purpose heavy duty with bungee strap. They also sent us this really cool rack bag. They claim a range of up to 45 miles and they claim a speed of up to 28 miles an hour. We also have a lithium ion 48 volt, 15 amp hour removable battery. We also have a mod drive 750 watt motor with a 1050 watt peak. The display is a mod bikes S1 smart display with USB port. The headlights an integrated wide beam LED and we also have an integrated rear LED brake light. We have a quarter twist thumb throttle. The sidecar weighs 42 pounds. The sidecar payload capacity is 120 pounds. And the tires on the sidecar are 20 by four. The Mod Easy weighs 77 pounds with a payload capacity of 265 pounds. We have a five years limited warranty and we have an adjustable height between five foot one and six foot seven. We also threw my boy Axel in the sidecar. Check this out. Mod Bikes is located in Austin, Texas. And I checked out their shop and it's really clean and everybody that works there really knows what they're doing. I even got the owner door to put me in the back of one of the bikes and give me a ride. It's pretty crazy that it can handle all of our weight on there. All right, guys, as you can see, we are at a full charge. We're going to see what the top speed is with the side card. You're only supposed to go about 10 miles an hour with this. All right, three, two, one, go full blast with the side car. Oh, the pickup's not too bad. And the motor feels like it's like quiet, but it sounds like it has more teeth than normal motors, if that makes sense. It has more of like a metal sound to it. When we went to their shop in Austin, we did find out that it actually has nylon gears sandwiched with metal gears. So it's gonna be a lot more durable. Wow, this feels crazy. Well, I just put it on two wheels. 22.9 <laughs> was the highest we saw. 22.9 is gonna be our top speed with the sidecar, guys. All right, let's check out the pedal assist speeds with the sidecar. So we're in mode one. Top speed is 6.9 miles an hour. Mode two, whoa. Cadence sensor kicks off hard in mode two. 13.5 miles an hour, mode two. Kick it up to mode three. Whoa, it really takes off there. Okay, now we're going way faster than the 10 miles an hour that we're supposed to go with the sidecar. <laughs> looks like 18.7 is our top speed in mode three. Gotta push the button. Ooh, we forgot to do a little freshy. Nice. All right, now let's move to pedal assist four. Oh, the Aventon is beating me, no way. Take it all the way to gear seven, pedal assist four. Looks to be about 22.2 .2 miles an hour is my top speed in pedal assist four. All right, pedal assist five. Let's see if I can push it past 22.2 .2 miles an hour. Oh, I need to adjust the gears 22.2 .2 on pedal assist five the fact that we can go like 20 miles an hour with a sidecar is amazing i can't wait to take this on a group ride and actually load that thing up i want to jump in it myself right now actually all right guys let's do a 20 mile an hour brake check wow. that actually that good. did great I was like 15 or 20 feet. We just traveled 8.9 miles and we lost one battery bar so far, guys. All right, guys, we are at Hill Climb Test Hill. We're gonna try this with our 69 Newton meters of torque. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna get some speed and we're probably not gonna make it, but it's okay, because we can go backwards without getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Zero steepness right here, guys. 
Come on, 69 newt meters of torque, let's go. <laughs> All right. And just so you guys know, this bike was not meant for any kind of off-road. And as you guys can see, the tires are a street tire made strictly for the streets only. We have to test out the grass. That's, that's definitely a test we can never miss. Whoa. Oh, oh, two wheeling it, two wheeling it. Feet post suspension working great. Little front fork suspension, loving me today. Much better on the streets, guys. Way more comfy on the streets. All right, guys, we took the sidecar off and we charged the battery back to 100%. We're gonna test out the full top speed on this. I'm gonna show you guys how to unlock this bike. So what you're gonna wanna do is hold the plus and minus button. Then you go down to where it says speed limit. Hit that up to 28, which is high as it goes. Hit the I, go down to set current, and 24A is the highest you can go. Then after that, you just hold the power button, and now everything's saved. So now let's see if we can actually hit 28 miles an hour on this bike. Unlocked. All right, here we go. Let's see if we notice the power increase. It was only a few more amps. Okay, yeah. I definitely noticed the power. 20. Do I have to go to five? Okay. So I think you get the most power out of the pedal assist. Yep. Yeah. So the throttle doesn't give you the full 28 miles an hour. It's actually the pedal assist. So I'm just ghost pedaling to see if we can actually hit 28. 26.8. All right, after this turn, I'm gonna try to push it. All right, now I'm gonna start pushing it. <laughs> oh man, almost hit 28, 27. 0.8 miles an hour is the highest I could hit, guys. We got the shreddy copter out. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of terrain testing out here without the sidecar. You can definitely tell the weight difference riding around without it. I wanna try to wheelie. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's just truck through this stuff, see if it can pull us through. It's pretty deep here. I'll get my biscuits up. It's actually pulling me through this stuff pretty well. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Awesome. A little burnout. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna try a little test on this hill. Here we go. Going straight up it. I'm not pedaling at all. I'm gonna keep going because it gets steeper up here. Ooh, pot. Ooh, big potholes. Oh, oh. Not potholes, go for holes. Oh, yeah. Keeps pulling you up. That's pretty cool. Let's rip, guys. It's taking off-roading pretty well. <laughs> Hell yeah. I didn't think this was gonna be able to control off-road the way it did. Let me know down in comments what you guys thought about it. Quick little break from the review. Headed up to the Lewis Oyster House. You know we got some oysters. There we go. We got a little half a wedge. Didi got a half a wedge. And check that out. Old Bay Wings. Food destroyed. Check this out. <laughs> For some reason, this is so much fun to do. Yeah, he's, he hasn't been fed in months. <laughs> he's having a good time, though. Have you guys ever tried something like this before? <laughs> All right, now I'm getting busy. <laughs> now, this is with Matt the Mechanic on the driver's seat. <laughs> oh, I'm going sideways. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, Dee Dee's gonna try to get in the sidecar. Like, you good? Yep. I'm gonna pick D up. <laughs> Heck yeah. Are you enjoying this, Dee Dee? Yeah, fun. <laughs> Who would have thought sidecars are this much fun? <laughs> this is the Delaware Beaches, guys. And here's what it looks like when you're riding through a little bit of packed sand onto the gravel. Uh oh, a little sideways. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Up this nice steep hill, super easy. Guys, in the comments, let me know what you guys think about the mod bikes easy with a sidecar. Would you guys get a sidecar for your significant other or a pet? And yes, you shouldn't go faster than 10 miles an hour with the sidecar, guys. I'm just doing this for e-bike science. Two wheeling it. <laughs> happy Halloween. Thanks, happy Halloween. Dead Shred, are you having a good time? Man, this is such a blast. Ah! Here goes some. Oh my god. <laughs> Fun tricks. One leg. One arm, one leg. Woohoo. We got the raspberry lychee. 
It's like some kind of Asian fruit. Is that what she said? And little meringues. I love meringues. Such a good tang to it. Destroyed. It's a little side wheelie class for it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Class, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like fitting. <laughs> so we've done 22 miles and we are down to two batteries left. Fun day, fun ride. Oh my God, I'm gonna crash. <laughs> As always, if you guys do wanna support the channel, check out that link down below for the Mod Bikes Easy with Sidecar. Use code SHREDDY, get $100 off your order. If Mod Bikes isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. As always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next easy ride.